I think that I fell in love with the land and I fell in love with my culture and I fell in love with my language in my early 20s. And that was really the first exposure that I had had to Anishinaabe and into that kind of cultural knowledge. It was so uplifting and inspiring. I had an experience of hanging out with a group of elders for a couple of years, and it was amazing to me the way that they thought and the way that they constructed the world and how they lived in the world. It made me feel so happy and so connected. That really became the spine of my practice, whether it's academics or artistic, and that really became the spine of my life. So I live in my territory and I try to um, do as many um, activities like harvesting wild rice, um, hunting, fishing, storytelling, ceremony, learning songs, um, running a sugar bush as I can throughout the year. Through participating in those activities, that becomes this wealth of, of creative and artistic energy. And so sometimes that comes out in poetry, sometimes that comes out in music, sometimes that comes out in, in short stories, sometimes that comes out in oral storytelling. And as, a, as an academic and an intellectual, um, the land is almost, it, it carries so many stories. I sort of think is almost like a nest around me. Um, and going out and, and living in this particular way and thinking in a particular way constructs the world in an Anishinaabe way. And I, I find the, um, the intellectual knowledge that's, that's sort of encoded in that way of life is something that's really complex and beautiful and, uh, and carries me. And I always think back to the Anishinaabe, one of the Anishinaabe creation stories where that muskrat is going down. Um, there's a big flood and everything is a disaster and everything is a mess and that little muskrat is going down to try to find that, that first piece of, of, of earth. And we're really in a situation right now um, where all of us have to be that muskrat and we all have to swim down to the bottom of the lake and get our own paw full of dirt. And my paw full of dirt doesn't have to be the same as your paw full of dirt. And we need to figure out what our, what our gifts are and what our contributions are. I think that there's a lot of beautiful ways of being indigenous. And I think that um, it's, it's all of our jobs to find out what, what those are and then, and then become really good at it. Uh, my name is Leanne Patasmusak Simpson. I'm a Chi Saki Kanishnabek from Alderville First Nation, and I'm a musician, an artist, an academic, and a writer.